Good evening, my friends. We have another one. Uh, this is from Quansheng. Uh, however, this device is pronounced. I'm not too sure. It's a, not sorry, not the device, but the range of products that they have. It's, a, it's either QSEM or Quosem or Quosem. I, I don't know how you. So some. I, I don't know how you do it. Anyway, this is an unboxing of a little Quansheng. So let's get this unboxed and have a look to see what we have in here. We have the little digital uh, little booklet here. Uh, I shall be going through that at some stage and see what's going on in there. Leave that there for now. Charger. Everything seems standard about that. Uh, yep. Yeah. With the North American plug we have on the end here. A little stubby antenna. Uh, by the size of the antenna, I'm guessing this is a UHF uh, radio. And the radio itself and the battery. Oh, what have we got in here? Oh, we've got the usual um, belt clip and the lanyard. Belt clip normally comes with a screws but this looks like it is a clipping one anyway let's see anything else in the box no this plastic stuff is a lot sturdier than the other stuff they usually send these things in anyway let's go back to here so we have the battery I'm guessing that's where that slots in yep yeah. Contacts. Okay. And we have the radio itself. This is a tiny little thing. This is DMR. It's, I mean, I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but uh, that gives you an idea how uh, how small it is. Uh, so there's a little cover on there. So what have we got here? Uh, on. It's pretty stiff, but smooth. Uh, light LED I'm guessing, antenna, push button, option one, option two. There is no button, I mean there's no number pad on here. It's just the four control keys, uh, buttons there. And what have we got here? Oh, we've got the standard key plug. And it goes in there. Anything in here? Oh, looks like it could have been a USB, but they never used it. All right, let's get this power on and see what it does. So this is a slide-in, I'm guessing. No, it is not. It's a clip-in. So I'm guessing that goes in like that. Oh, there we go. That's not in properly. Oh, there we go. Clipped in. USB-C charging, and I'm guessing that is the USB charge light to let you know what's happening with it. So let's... Uh, Get the antenna out. Okay. I'm just going to grab my seat and sit down here and try and keep it at the same level. So I don't need to ca keep having to adjust the... Uh, oops. Keep having to adjust the focus. So let's turn this on. Power on. Digital. Okay, let's see what we have. <clears throat> I've had to bring the camera in closer because when the light came on it would not focus on it. So I'm just going to focus in again. Let's get this. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> let's see what we've got here. That's up and down. Nothing at the moment. I'm guessing this is a channel. Uh, it looks like there's probably only one in there. This. Uh, I don't know what that does. It's probably exit, maybe. Let's try the menu. See if it's a menu here. Uh, okay. So, it's got the digital stuff here. Oh, let's go back. 
Let's focus on again. Okay. So we've got the inbox. So we've got all call, call, inbox, outbox. So there's this digital sending. Messages. Radio set config. Zone. And whatever that is is on. Oh, and radio ID. Uh, date and time. Yep. These all appear to be digital. These all appear to be digital functions and not analog ones. I would not. I would have thought that this would have an analog function to it. It probably does, but maybe we've just got to switch the channel to analog. So let's jump back into here. Okay, uh, I'm just going to turn the camera light on to see if that makes any difference. Yeah, hold on a second. So instead of it being really dark. Yeah. Turn to the side, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you. I don't know if that's any better or not. Okay, so we've got all call. Okay, let's go back to again. Right, so we've got this. All call. All right. Okay, so it goes into the menu for that one. So if we go down. All right. Okay. So we go into the menu. I'm taking. It. Yeah. Okay. Out and down to the next menu. All right, okay, so there's radio. Uh, power save on button. Okay, just on or off. Okay, tone. I'm guessing that's just the keypad tone. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, it is. Let's put it back on again. Right. Backlight, how long it stays on for? Screen, what's screen do? Oh, that's a power on screen, that's probably supposed to say there. Uh, okay, lock. Okay, so there's not many options there. Let's have a look at config. Power. Okay, so there's high low, so there's two power settings. Vox. Okay, there's different levels of Vox. I'll just leave that the way it is. Huh. Okay. Um, a little bit further. Is there a channel config then? I don't know. Maybe there's extra menus in these bits I'm skipping past. Let's have a look down this one. Nope. Go on to that one. Nope. Next one. Oh. Huh. Radio set again. No. Channel config. It only gives you the option for power and vox. It looks like. I would have thought this would have analog, and maybe it does, but it looks like you've got to pretty much program everything through the the CPS software, the MS7, I think it's called. Uh, I've got it upstairs, um, and I just need to go through and uh, do a little test on programming to see whether or not this helps. And there's any other functions? There's no other functions around here, so what does this do? I'll push and hold, nothing. Let's have a try the side buttons here, so we'll push the bottom one. Nothing at this time. Push and hold. Nothing. The next one up. High power. Okay, so that's currently configured as the low power. That's the power toggle. Uh, for the push and hold. Okay, no configuration at this time. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, that's a PTT button. Oops. It's just that it all calls on nothing because I don't have any. It's not. No, we don't have anything like that over here. Um. 
Hmm. Okay, so it looks like there's pretty much no programming you can do via the keypad. Hold on a second, let's just try this. Uh, let's go to the radio. Does this do anything? No. <laughs> I know it was a long shot, but anyway. Yeah, so that is a brief un unboxing and demo of the Quan Sheng or the oh yeah Quan Sheng. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Anyway, the next video will be the programming software, which I just need to get hooked up and loaded. Uh, test the various cables that I have and see which one works the best. Because uh, I do have issues every now and again with certain ones, as everybody knows the old prolific one, which uh, is easy to get round, but why bother when there's other ones out there which will do exactly the same with less hassle. Anyway, have a good evening all. Seven threes. Actually, no. Oh, yep, yeah, just have a good evening all. Seven threes and I'll see you guys soon. Right, bye bye now.